All right, so I've just picked up the razor leaf and I want to use it for bounty hunting, but I don't don't think it's going to be any good for some of the harder ships. It's only a class A. Uh, shields aren't as good as they look here because I've uh, got a lot of bonuses from my skills. So I'm going to take it over to the Deimos Star Yard in the Soul System. For those of you that might not have been there before, this is Deimos is one of Mars's moons, and you can find that here, Deimos Star Yard. Alright, so here we are at Deimos. I've got just short of 200,000 credits to work with. I wish Deimos was exclusively a military contractor. If I can find the way downstairs. We go speak to this guy here. What do we have here? A civilian in my star yard. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Deimos civilian, dude. I'm gonna build the best ship you've ever seen. Alright. Anyone that flies blah, in blah, space. Blah 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 blah. Let's get to it. So get on with it. Of We're gonna course. get to view and modify. We're gonna turn this into a respectable ship. So the first things that we're gonna need to change are the shield generator here. We move that to one side. We've got the reactor at the front. We've got uh, the grav drive at the back here. And I'm not going to be using these weapons. Although I am going to try to use something similar. So I'm going to leave them off to one side so I can see what it's got. I want to keep the aesthetic of this ship. I want to make it so it still looks like the razor leaf because otherwise we may as well just be making our own ship so my first thought is that it's going to need to be longer so I'm going to look at what modules we've got as well. What habs have we got here? We've got the captain's quarters up front with the cockpit. I want to keep this in one piece as much as possible. Because we want to keep that razor leaf look. And now we got the docker here as well. Let's keep that on the front of the ship here. Let's take uh, all of these parts. For any, if you're new to the shipbuilding and you're not sure how I'm selecting multiple parts at once, select that first part, hold left control, and then just click the following parts. And then we can just hover over any one of those, press space, grab them all as a one and move them, like so. So like I said before, I want to keep the look of this ship, but I know that I'm going to need to put a much larger reactor in the back here if you want to have a decent amount of power. So the first thing we're going to do is go into here, go to reactors, and I'm going to go down and look for the class C's. And some of these are going to require you to have skills unlocked. Um, 
obviously piloting rank four for class C ships. But if you wanted to use the DC-402, for example, like this one here, that's going to require you to have Starship Design Rank 2 as well. I'm going to use this one just to keep it cheap and uh, also to keep it so you don't need to have the Starship Design in order to follow along with this build. So we're going to take this Fusor. This is going to give us 29 points of equipment power. I'm going to delete the reactor over here just to eliminate any confusion, because at the minute it says we've got 47 points, but this won't work, you can only have one reactor. So we've got 29. Then, let's go ahead and grab these things here, and we'll slide them back into place, back where they were, or rather, just in front of where they were. So now to bridge the gap between this landing bay and the armory, we're going to need to put something else in. I'm going to grab a hab that's going to be useful to us. So we get a two by one. We'll go for a workshop. If you want to be able to get more crew on your ship, you could always put in um, a control station or a computer core here. You can add one crew station with a computer core. You can add four with a control station. But I'm going to put in a workshop. And then we can grab all this stuff at the front here. You hold left control and you double click on one of these pieces. It will select the piece that you double click on plus everything else that's attached to it. So we can use that to grab everything, move it all in a one. And then this is probably gonna be uh, adding some weight to the ship. And to offset that weight, I'm just gonna go ahead and Control and G to duplicate these landing gears. And I'm going to add a duplicate landing gear, set of landing gear behind that. Uh, up here, we can put in a grab drive. We'll get rid of that old one and we'll find ourselves a class C grab drive. Maybe even just a really good class B. So if you've got Starship Design Rank 2, you can grab this, which is uh, going to give you 36 grab jump thrust. That's probably going to put you at 30 light year jump range. If you don't have that, you can grab this one. It's going to be cheaper. It's going to give you 27. That's still going to get you into the end game. We can move these weapon mounts back onto the sides of the grab drive now, which is where they were originally. And we got uh, auto electron beams on the sides of those. So we'll find ourselves a class C or a class B electron beam of some kind. We'll put some of those up there. Let's go. Um, let's go for. Let's go for some of these disruptor alpha beams. These are going to be 38 to hull and shield damage. Right. Uh, up front here, I think I'm going to add in some fuel tanks. These ones, I think, will look quite nice in these slots. The Ulysses. We'll put some of those in. 
And up at the very front here, we can fit in um, another hab. So we'll go ahead, add some cr extra crew quarters with a two, two to one control station. Right, on this slot at the front, on the top of the cockpit, we had a missile launcher. I'm going to replace that with a Class C missile launcher. And I think that's going to be in the form of this missile launcher here, CE-49. That's just the big daddy of the CE-09. And then on these two slots here, we had pulse lasers. So we'll replace those with some bigger pulse lasers. Uh, and that's gonna be in the form of the dragon. You don't wanna take the turrets. Uh, but it is up to you if you want to take pulse lasers or just normal lasers. Pulse lasers obviously gonna have a faster rate of fire. I'm gonna stay true to the original design and put pulse lasers on here in the form of the Dragon 261P. So that's all of our firepower. And then for the shield generator, we're gonna go here to shields, look for one that doesn't require any Starship design skill. So that's probably gonna be this one here, the Odin 3030C, and pop that on top of there. And that's pretty much it. That's going to give us a, a Class C Razor Leaf with a lot more firepower, a lot more shields. It's going to give us more crew quarters. It's going to give us a workshop. And if you like, you can move this um, this docker, the slim docker, back to the back of the ship. That's where it was originally. And then the last thing will be to select the entire ship. Again, hold down left control, double click on any part of the ship. You're going to select the whole thing. Hit J to go to colors. And then all I'm just going to do is, on the colors, I'm going to just tweak the saturation backwards and forwards just to get the uh, the colors that are on all the other parts to apply to those parts that I've just added as well. And that's that. Hit enter to apply. It's obviously going to be different buttons if you're playing on console. And that's about that. That's 1,118 credits. We've now got a class C razor leaf. And the last thing to do is to assign our weapons. The pulse laser to the first weapon slot, alpha beam to the second laser uh, weapon slot, and the launcher on the third. And then we'll close. So it's all systems nominal. It's going to cost you about 118,000 credits, a little over. You can do all of this at the Deimos Star Yard without the need for any starship design skill. You will need the piloting skill for uh, you to be able to fly a Class C. That's um, a reactor that outputs 29. Equipment power requirements are 33, so that means you're gonna be able to have all of your equipment powered up for the most part. Uh, if you wanna keep all of your pips and the weapons, you're gonna have to take a little bit out of the engines, or you can go ahead and replace this. There is a version of this that uh, will output, I believe, 34 points. So that's going to be that. Do flight check. Let's E to exit out. Pay for our modifications. And you can see here we've got. Twelve points in lasers, seventy-six in the particle beams, and hundred points in missile damage. 
with my traits. It's 1,288 shields, a jump range of 28 light years. This is going to get you through to the end game. It's not going to uh, absolutely melt ships, but it still looks like the Razor Leaf. And it's now Class C.